That's recorded in. Did you jump? <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's going in. So we're just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to make. I'm making a video for the EFL Cup game of Chelsea versus Liverpool. Got a Liverpool fan with me now. He, uh, this is Jack. I live with Jack, and he's an annoying scouser. So I thought I'd ask him some questions and just have a conversation about the, the upcoming game. Because as we all know, there's two games coming up, isn't there? Yeah. There's an EFL Cup game, which we're talking about now. There's a Premier League game, which we'll talk about at another time. Don't, don't, don't try to not do that again. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about, do you reckon this is even a good game uh, to talk about? Do you think it's an important game? It's less important, but I'd take any trophy I could get. I want to go for it. Is it? I'd take any trophy so I could get. So you'd want to win the EFL Cup or Carabao Cup, sorry? Yeah, I wouldn't put all my eggs into it, but okay. I, I want to win it, yeah. Okay. So I don't feel, see, like, of course, like, I'm, I, I agree with you basically, I reckon you can, you're going to want to win every game and you're going to want to win any top cup you can, but it's so dead isn't it, because it's basically BTEC FA Cup isn't it? I wouldn't be playing me full fifth starting 11 no. until the semis, yeah, but yeah. I would still be trying to win it. Because I don't, I don't know if Sarri and Klopp will even care. I, I don't think Klopp cares about it. I think he wants the bigger trophies. See, what I think might the only, the only reason why this game might be important though is for the next game. I think it's the morale. So, so if Chelsea win, hopefully, um, we win at Anfield for one, and then go into the next game like we've already beat you. If you gave me the choice though, I'd rather win on the weekend. Or you'd rather win both. <laughs> I'd rather win both, but if I could only win one or the other, I'd rather win on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm the same, but I'm saying I reckon whoever wins this game has such more of like a mental battle for the next one. That was like my thinking about yeah. it, I reckon. I reckon like whoever wins this can literally go to the next game and have that mentality like we've beat you, we know how to beat you, kind of that kind of thing. Yeah, I suppose it does play a part, but... I'm not sure it plays that much of a part considering I think the starting lineups will be completely different across the two games. You think they'll be completely different? I think we'll maybe have eight, seven, eight changes. So yeah, I reckon it'll be like uh, like a half and half. So what, who do you think is going to play for Liverpool and who, what's your starting eleven? Um, well, Alisson will start in goal. Although, saying that, like, we could go with Mignolet. I hadn't thought about that. Has Carrier has gone? Carrier's just gone out on loan, two year loan. Um, That's mad. Um, you'll rotate probably both the full back. Bring on Klein and Moreno, unfortunately. <laughs> I'd actually rather have Mill on the play in there. Um, <laughs> Van Dijk took a knock on the week eh, on the weekend, so he'll come on. You guys shat yourself for that. We did. Like I'm in a chat with like how many scouts are in it? Like most of you. And like about eight. So can he got injured? It's like, <laughs> He's injured. What are we gonna do? You know, like shat yourselves, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, funny, so probably a matter matter Gomez. Um, back to um, yeah, midfield. I'd say probably start Henderson, but I think him and Milner might do a half each. That's, so you think bang on half time to take him up? Yeah, I think. Yeah, they, neither of them. I, I think they both could do with a little bit of a rest. So yeah. if you bring one on at the start and the other one on at second half, yeah. Uh -huh. um, Peter will probably start. Yeah. And I think it'll be Fabinho's first game. For didn't he play like sixty seconds? Is that is that was that him? I don't think he's played. No, he's not played. He, he's played pre season, I don't think he's played at all. A game, no yeah. Uh, he'll come out oh, he'll be dangerous then, won't he? Because he'll come out and want to prove himself. Potentially, yeah. Mm. I don't know, maybe it might be too fast paced for him. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Um and then I change up the top. Uh, yeah, storage in the middle, Shakiri on the right and I'd start Salah but you could probably argue Marnie over Salah. I'd start Salah though. Um, you'd you'd, you'd want to rest Marnie wouldn't you? Well I think Salah looks tired but you think? yeah but at the same time he needs a confidence boost you could see it the relief in his face when he scored his goal on the weekend so mm. I think play Salah could be a good chance for a confidence boost if you play a lesser team. Yeah I'm sure I think we will. So I think I'd play Salah because of that but at the same time, I could see why it's that money. So we, we've gone for like a similar thing where it's kind of like it's like a half and half first team and like subs bench, get resting certain players like you're resting Firmino and Mane potentially yeah. Salah, um, for, literally for the next game. My 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 starting eleven was Willie and goal because that like that just that's what we do for the cup games. 
I think it's going to be very similar to the, the Pout game. So the Pout game, we played a lot of first team players. I didn't actually ex expect that. But we played a lot of first team players. So the back four, I think the only thing that will change will be uh, Christensen coming in for Rudiger. I think Rudiger injured. Oh, he, he, he kind of like his leg kind of like gave up on him at the last minute of that West Ham game. Is he not ruled out? I don't think he's ruled out now. So yeah, no, I think. And then I think you know, Aspicueta, Alonso, Louise, Louise. I don't want Louise to play anymore. I'm I'm sick of it to be honest. Um, so that would be the back four. The 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 middle three. See, so I would have thought. Kante wouldn't have played, but he played in the Pout game, so that kind of like changed my prediction. So I think it'll be Barkley because Barkley's been so good. Have you seen him? Yeah, I saw him on the weekend. Barkley's been playing yesterday, good. Like Sunday. Like, Bar like I'm so surprised. Barkley's been playing good, and I'm so surprised with that. I'm so gassed for that actually, because it's quite good to have him have him as an option to be honest. Bring him on or start him. I think he'll start him for these cup games, giving him the time, and then just having Jorginho and Kante. Uh has been brilliant and he's he's like a workhorse. He can I think he he'll play most of our games this season. I'd like to see him have a rest in the AFL Cup actually, just because I've got him my fan sitting here for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he'll play both games I reckon. He's to, he's, he's he's so important to our squad. I think if the, any game we wanna win he'll be playing and that's most games, so as for our forward three, I think it'll be Pedro, William and Morata. But Pedro is injured, isn't he? Yeah, but I don't know if he'll be back today. Actually, I think he was ruled out. So I don't know if he'll be back or not. Because if not, I don't think we'll play Hazard at all. I don't think he'll even be on the bench. So, so what, what would you change? So there? That's the thing. I think it might have to be like Moses or someone, which is crazy. Oh, Fabregas or Fabregas can't play as a winger though, can he? Unless you put you Barkley. Could change the formation. Yeah. I, I well, guess you, you could play maybe with a diamond, or maybe with them just behind the front two. Yeah, but if Pindro, if Pindro, <laughs> Pindro, uh, if uh, Pedro is. Not injured, if he's okay, I reckon he'll play and William and Morata. And I think Morata will probably come off at 60 minutes after not scoring a goal again. And Giroud will come on. <laughs> That's probably what will happen. I feel so bad for him though, because he's actually a brilliant player. He is. I'd, I'd be playing Giroud at this point, I'll be honest. Oh. Not in, in the cup game though. Oh no that's no. That's what I mean. I was from the starting. Yeah yeah that's that, yeah him. that's what I mean. So he's now the backup. Yeah. So now he's like he's... what an eighty million pound backup was it? Oh we've got money in it. <laughs> 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 and Giroud's are like fifteen million pound starter. Star, <laughs> so yeah that's how I, that's how our teams are looking. I reckon I reckon we're pretty accurate to be fair. I think in the next video we'll quick briefly mention it. I think we're pretty accurate. Yeah I'm happy. Um. I think I might be wrong about the goalkeeper, but apart from that, I think I'm going mm. on. Well, uh, we're watching the game tomorrow night. Well, it's tomorrow night now, but it'll probably be yesterday. Later. <laughs> no, but it'll be later on when this video goes up. Yeah, it's. I think it's big. I think it's only big in the sense that it is um, the up and coming for the two fixtures coming up. I want. I was going. I want to briefly mention about the Carabao Cup, though. So I was going to speak to you about right. Because you, you said earlier that you actually kind of like it and you want to go I'd for want to win it. It's, it's so the, of the four thing, competitions we're in this season, it's the least important one to me. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'd take any trophy. But So um, I heard this idea on the Guardian podcast, so it's not my idea, it's the Guardian's idea, but I think someone said we could change the EFL Cup now. Because you know how they've changed some of the rules? Do you know that? So they've changed no. some of the rules this season, but I reckon they should just completely change them. And make it like a seven-a-side league, right? So Chelsea players, you're like Liverpool I don't players. Don't think you'd be getting eleven-a-side teams like proper professional football teams wanting to play seven-a-side. No, a legit we... cup. That'd be so good, though. I can see it being and, and it interesting, fresh... but I, I don't see many people want to do that. Many football clubs see, would want to do that. The only problem it causes is midweek games. Then you know, like. You, the managers aren't going to want to play their like their top strikers in this seven side game when they've got the prem on the weekend. I just think they need something to spice it up. They really do because it's like such a boring cup now, and like, and it's a shame because you know I, m I remember what was it before Carling Cup. The Carling Cup. Carling Cup was what I remember, and it's actually people wanted to win it, but no one wants to win it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the big sides don't need to win it because you get what your Europa League place out of it. You're after top four if you're one of the big sides, and if you miss out, you get in the Europa League anyway. Yeah, so. I guess so. That's a shout. But I just think that'd be so interesting. Imagine like imagine your front three and seven side team. Imagine. I don't that. think you could fit all three of them into it. It'd be so <laughs> sick though. And like just have like two defenders. <laughs> <laughs> just two defenders, one midfielder. Three up front and a keeper. That we see. It would be. It would. It's just in. Obviously, it's all in theory. Like I don't, yeah, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. But yeah, it's a good um, 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> he just whispered. He went. <laughs> your concept. It's a, yeah, it's a good. It, it's a cool concept, isn't it? I think that's about it, really. I think yeah, it, it's the, the first predictions. That's the shout. Yeah. I, um. Oh, see, I. See, this is the thing, right? Because Liverpool are better than Chelsea at this point in in the league, I'd say. And and and. But like anything can happen on the day, of course. It's whether we who starts the better team as well. And because neither of us are going to go full throttle. You, your team are way more. That's a. If Sturridge and Shakiri play, Sturridge, Shakiri and Salah versus William, Pedro, and Morata, I would nick us to score more than you. But, you Potentially. Know, I've, I, I'm going to. I'm going to say 2 1 Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying 1 1 at full time, and then when we bring the rest of our front three on in extra time, I think we'll nick it. That, does it go to extra time? To extra time. I'm Unless they've changed the rules on that as well. I think it goes straight to pens now. Does know. it? I think that's one of the oh. rule changes. Oh, in that case, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I was thinking one more at full time and was in extra time, but I don't know if it'd be better at pens. I don't know. Probably you, you with Willie in goal. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you're going to win it on pens. There you go. Cheers for being on, Jack. No worries. We'll, um, we'll, we'll make another video. Uh, for a, same type of video, but for the Premier League. It'll be a bit longer, it'll be a bit more important, and uh, we'll have more to talk about because of what happens tomorrow. See you next time. <laughs> hey, he's on it. Cheers, guys.